deaths and because these were not the only children we have lost. In the past four years, we have lost 40 children in motor vehicle crashes on streets that are lacking safety improvements that we all know now save lives. Yeah, I'm, I'm here to say like we've just had enough. We've had enough putting a few people's privileges above everyone else's. We need enforcement, we need people to slow down, we need better street design, because we need to prioritize kids and people over cars. And we need these changes to happen before someone gets killed, not after, not a reactive action. We need proactive action. We cannot be going through years of hearings on things. It's one thing to take input from the community, but the community process can also be a way to permanently pocket veto or hold up changes that are necessary. This was an old campaign of ours from a couple years ago. We picked a reasonable speed that we thought people would not be killed at if they were impacted by a vehicle, and unfortunately had to get watered down in Albany to pass our new speed limit in New York, which is 25. We all know that people drive eh, 10 miles over the speed limit. That's, that's a deadly speed limit that we have in place now. Let's say speeds were 10 miles an hour we would have vision zero, there would be no deaths. So there's some sweet spot between 25 and let's say 10, where there would be virtually no deaths. Right now it feels like we're doing trickle down safety. I mean, we get a little bit of safety and, and, and that's it. And that's not enough. We, we need everyone to know this is not enough. We are not going to stop until we get complete safety on the streets. And we are here tonight to demand action from Mayor de Blasio. I mean, we would just like for everyone to be more careful. You know, our kids' lives are important. We'd like for them to grow up and be adults also. You know, um, we definitely got to respect these street signs, street lights. Everybody's here because they know that you, that you risk your life crossing the street. And it's not fair to the kids who are victims of this reckless driving. It's a disgrace. I hope eventually that the laws and uh, penalties for reckless driving is eventually amped up. Negligent driving needs to stop and it, it starts with uh, harsher laws for, for bad driving, more stringent rules and regulations when it comes to obtaining driver's licenses. We have to raise the penalties for driving with a suspended license so that people think twice before they get into a, a death machine and risk people's lives and I think there should be presumptive uh, guilt for vehicles who are caught uh, speeding on camera and otherwise, and let them prove that it wasn't them. Whatever we're doing today really doesn't make change today. It makes change for our tomorrow. It makes change for our kids. And in a lot of ways, if our streets are this unsafe, we're failing the future generation. And stop prioritizing driving. Driving yes. is really, just doesn't make sense. The city's growing and motor vehicles are, are dinosaurs. It's time to really restrict their usage. In the days to come. In the days to come. We will remember them. We will remember them. By fighting for safer streets. By fighting for safer streets. By demanding street redesign. And this whole community and Brooklyn and the city have been grieving for a week, for weeks, for years. And tonight was uh, so many people just came out to be together, to express our 
our heartbrokenness and to try to recommit ourselves so that when we say Vision Zero, we mean not one more. Not one more! Not one more! Not one more! As heavy as our hearts are right now, I think it's so important that we do this in community so that we can see how important it is for us to make sure that our state officials give us the power at the city to make the changes that we need. It's very moving to see this many people uh, come out for street safety and um, to join the families uh, for Safe Streets who have done such an amazing job. Three years ago, three of my friends were hit and killed by reckless drivers within the span of 14 months. And after the first of my friends was killed, um, I bought 40 teddy bears from Ikea and I set them up on lampposts along Crossway Park West. And one of those bears, the last one that I had, um, I managed to keep for almost five years now. Um, and today I have put it up on the lamppost to signify that it's the last bear and it has to be the last death. This cannot happen again. It is absolutely unimaginable to lose a child. And I think the city's hearts went out to the parents who lost two young children um, on this corner. And finally, people are understanding that these are, can be prevented, and they wanted to say enough is enough. Every parent wants to protect their child. And that's what we saw here today. Everyone came out, kids, parents, teachers, you know, not irregular activists who wanted to make a difference.